More than century-old business in Salt Lake City is taking the higher road despite being targeted by vandals several times. We look at their unique approach to adversity and what police are now saying about this type of crime. Plywood and duct tape still hangs in the front door of UWM Men's Shop. The West South Temple business vandalized. And it's happened uh, four times in the last year, unfortunately. UWM's president, B.J. Stringham, says the latest incident happened a month ago. Someone threw a rock through the window and stole a formal suit off one of their mannequins. An annoyance for Stringham, but he tries to see it differently. How is it this their, their best course of action? Like, what must their life look like? And so I felt a lot more compassion where I was feeling frustration. The irony, Stringham tells us his business has been giving back to underserved men since 2016 through program Suited for Good. More than 1,500 men have gotten free suits from it. But the latest act of vandalism has Stringham doing more. One of our associates that we work with here said, hey, we should put up a letter to our, to our you know, smash and grabber and and just invite him to apply to our Suit for Good program. That life-sized letter now hangs in one of the broken windows, encouraging the so-called snatch and grabber to apply to Suited for Good. A literal sign of optimism, but Salt Lake City police tell us it's a crime they're seeing more of. Sergeant Mark Boyan tells us burglaries of businesses are up by 10% citywide over a five-year average. He hopes businesses will revisit their security protocols. Do things that would deter someone from wanting to uh, take advantage of the opportunity to burglarize or vandalize uh, the business. He recommends security systems, cameras, lights, and signs. While Stringham's business has cameras, he says they haven't helped them find suspects. He's hoping the new letter will appeal to their humanity instead. I hope it doesn't come to where you have to, you know, put down the grates and, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't visualize Salt Lake City as that city. I think it's interesting that he took a different approach to something that's just a nuisance. You know, he switched his mindset and he thought, hey, you know, how can I be more empathetic, compassionate? And he put up that letter and is trying to appeal to somebody's softer side. Yeah, I love that. So somebody steals a coat, he's giving him his cloak also. Exactly. It's biblical. It is. <laughs> it is. It is. He's living it. I love that.